All right, welcome back, folks, to the three o'clock game here on Friday in week number two. We have the second game of four this afternoon between the Cougars and the Wranglers here. Expecting some downpours here in Kansas throughout the game. Rain forecasted for the rest of the afternoon here. We will take a look at the previous season standings. Salt Lake City coming in at 4-6. and six. They were second in their division despite having a negative 92 point differential. They were bottom five in the league in both total offense and total defense. Wichita was 5-5 five and five last year with a minus 64 point differential. It was 23rd in offense, 15th in defense. Now this year, Wichita losing their first game to St. Louis, 34-17, and Salt Lake City losing to Portland, 34-14 last week. We'll get into the individual stats of the players throughout the game as the game goes on. But we will get you out to the panel's picks before the opening kickoff. Split down the middle in terms of the winners, but Wichita having a 46% chance to win should be a pretty even game throughout both of these teams. Bring in the firepower, and we will see how the team is fair in rainy Wichita, Kansas. Salt Lake City is the visitors. They will get the call here and win the, win the coin toss. They will elect to receive. So the home team Wranglers will boot it deep. Adam Ruppert We'll get us started here for Wichita. Rooting it to the end zone where our new return man Reggie McAllister will wait for it there and be stopped by Jason Whiting at the 22. So that'll bring out Salt Lake City quarterback Trevon Reeves. Leading his group of guys out onto the field. His first play from scrimmage will be a throwaway in the area of Meister. Taking a look at Reeves' stats last week in the loss to Portland, he was 19 of 32. That's good for just under 60% completion. 257 yards, two TDs, but he did also throw two picks. Bradley on the carry and Sharif Wilson there for the stop. Reeves, by the way, one of five quarterbacks last week to throw multiple picks. Joining Graham Hall and Jake Britton with two, Ronan Gallagher with three, and then Jan Weathers with six interceptions. Deep shot here to Kevin Boone, that's the connection. Brought down there by number 26, that being the rookie Marquise Brinson. Out of Mississippi State. Bradley on the carry and another tackle for loss. This time it's Lonel Jones, who you probably haven't heard too much of if you haven't been around the league for too long, but Jones finding a home there in that second defensive tackle spot, and this Wichita defense is really laying it on now. Jason Whiting adds a sack in there. And it will be third and forever. Third and 18 now. Reeves is going to try and air it out deep. He will. It's incomplete. It was trying to go to Jacob Nicholas there. And that will bring out the punt team. Longtime Cougar Santiago Franco will kick it deep. Waiting for it is Brinson, but he will not return it. And that may be a pin. It will. Boone will down it. That is a very nice job there by Salt Lake City on special teams. So 
So QB for Wichita Christian Strauss will start backed up in his own end zone here. Strauss looking, pass is incomplete. He was trying to hit Kendrick Nash that time. The second year running back. Strauss also a second year player out of Toledo. We're up in Erie, Pennsylvania. There's an 80 overall star dev. Take a look at that Salt Lake City defense. Notable additions this offseason include Deontay Battle and Jaleel Marion from Oklahoma City and Virginia Beach, respectively. Also watch out for Zach Faulkner, 55, the rookie linebacker. As well as Damian Mercer, another acquisition from OKC number 51 in white. Strauss on third down. This is incomplete, almost intercepted by Salt Lake City, and that will force a punt here for Wichita. Jimmy Clevenger on to boot it deep. Marion waiting for it. From his 46, solid return of about 10 or so. Drive for reuse. Four receivers in the formation. Handoff here to Bradley. And David Owalabi is there for the stop. That one good for seven yards. Second and three. Two tight ends in the formation now. Bradley on the handoff has a lane and has a first. Brought down by Lamar Draper. It will bring in the backup, David Sturgill. The veteran, 14th theater in the league out of Old Dominion. Scribble on a run. Not too far. Deshaun Dinkins, the defensive end out of Furman, on the tackle. Reeves, going to set up screen here to Bradley. He will stay inbounds, break a tackle, and gain a few. Virgil now in the game once again for Salt Lake City. This is a third and six opportunity. Chris Ryan in motion. We'll throw this. Reeves can't connect with Sturgill on that. A Wallaby in coverage. And that'll be a field goal here upcoming for the Cougars. Justin Lovell from 43. That kick is good. Kayvon Green on the return. Brought down by Faulkner on special teams as Derek Irwin, one of the backup linebackers who's on that kick coverage team, will be injured here. <laughs> Nash on the carry. Hit hard there by 22. Oh, and Damian Mercer is now hurt with a knee injury. So Salt Lake City loses their linebacker. By the way, 22 is Damian Davies on that tackle two plays ago. Meanwhile, Josh Breedlove has come in for Mercer. Number three, Strauss under pressure. He will go down. That is big Marquis Sims, the defensive end, on the sack that time. Clevenger on to punt. Booting it deep to Marion. Has some room to work here, but quickly closed down by Alexander. We will make the stop. 3-0 our score, 3 minutes and 51 seconds to go in the opening quarter of action. Bradley on the carry. Again, Sharif Wilson there for the tackle.
Wilson slowly emerging as a great defensive tackle option here for Wichita. 29 years of age at a Georgia Tech. That pass will be caught. Griffin Reisner, the fullback, former Delaware pioneer, pulling that one in. Good for five, third down and six. Reeves, pass here, caught, that's McAllister. And that'll be good enough for the first as they get to close to the 30 here. Five receivers in this formation now for Reeves. No throw under pressure, caught, that's McAllister again. As changes all over the place, Sasabi coming in and Culver coming in at receiver for McAllister. Reeves looking, that pass will be caught. Catch for Chris Ryan, the backup tight end. The rookie out of Rutgers. Go! Ryan in the sixth round pick in this year's draft. Pass is caught, DeAndre Knight. Former OKC Tornado and former Orlando Flame. First and 10 now in the red zone for the Cougars. Can they extend this lead? Bradley on the carry. Breaks Wilson's tackle. And taken down there by Brinson, but not before a good gain there of eight yards. Sturgill now back in the game. Second and two at the five. Go. Sturgill on the run, has a lane. Ooh, he's gonna get denied entry into the end zone. I believe that was Dinkins, 91, on the tackle. First down and goal for the Cougars. The man in motion is McAllister. Let's see if they maybe throw to him here or do something else. The handoff to Bradley. He will break off a tackle and go into the end zone. Touchdown, Salt Lake City. Extra point by Lovell is just barely good. 10 nothing now, Cougars in front. Kendrick Nash on the carry. As it'll end the first quarter here. 10 0 Salt Lake City enjoying a two score lead. Strauss will get his offense going here on this second and five play. He will miss Warner on that and bring up third down. Strauss has yet to complete a pass on three attempts. We'll see if he does here. Pike. Strauss thought about the screen. Instead, he'll throw an interception here to Davies. Overthrew Haggerty, the tight end there, on what was, yes, indeed, a designed screenplay to Nash. And Salt Lake City will get the ball back. Not looking good here for the Wranglers. <laughs> Reeves. Fire it here to Bradley. Flag on the play. Tackle by Owalabi. It will be a defensive holding, so they'll accept that. And it'll be a repeat first down. Three receivers lined up to the right side. Meister and Bradley to the left. That pass is almost picked by Thornton, who was in coverage, but McAllister able to haul that in.
First and 10 to the 26 for the Cougars. Reeves looking has nobody really there. He kind of threw it a double cover. That was Boone, the intended target. But uh, the dreaded comeback route, as we all know, very, very dangerous. Second down for the Cougars. Reeves going to go to Meister in the end zone. Good shot, but he couldn't quite connect. But I like the idea. Third down. Meister now in the slot. Go! Ryan lined up as the wing tight end. They will throw to him. That should be enough for the first. Oh, give it to him, man. Dinkins, by the way, going to mark that on the injury report. There we go. They, they really should have given it to him. I don't know. I don't know. He, he looked like he got to me. Anyway, short field goal is good by level. Thirteen to nothing. Green on the return. Ooh, Henry Goodwin. An injury here, a knee injury. Hmm. It's already the third injury for Wichita in the game. Second that isn't returning. Second down and nine after that carry gains one. Strauss looking, passing, caught Kayvon Green. That's good enough for 12 and a first. Wichita having to do some rearranging on their offensive line for this game. Jonathan Vallier, the normal center, had to be flexed out to left tackle this week. And Sean Egan had to be converted to center as Lawrence Harrison is injured this week. Cousins on the carry. Only good for two. Stop made by Shaw. Third down and three. Decision time here for the Wranglers. What will they do here? They got Green as the wing slot guy. They go play action with Strauss to Lopez, who caught a TD pass last week. And has found moments of success with Wichita as they use just kind of that receiver four or five role. A sack here by Rashid will thwart that opportunity. They'll lose seven with that. Second and 17 now, Strauss in the gun with an empty backfield. Warner in motion, 84. Strauss pass caught, that's Lopez again. That one good for 12. It'll still be a third and Quite a distance. Third and five. Strauss has a man. It is Lopez again. Oh, he gets hammered on that tackle. Looks like it may have been 46 four days on that tackle. That was dangerous. Anyway, a first down inside the 40 for Wichita. They keep moving. Enough to Nash here. Four days again on the tackle as Dinkins is coming back. Jonah Nix finally gets to see some action for Salt Lake City, the rookie linebacker out of the University of Tennessee. Strauss has time. Whoa, look out. It's Cody McClellan with an interception. And if he is fast enough, which he isn't, he I thought he was going to take it farther, but uh, McClellan just seemed to jog on that one. Yikes. I mean... I don't know. I thought 72 speed would be faster, honestly. But uh, they really got to watch out on those comeback routes. Those are th those have literally been proven week after week to be quite uh, costly, if you will. Good. 
Going nowhere on that is Bradley. Lionel Jones with the tackle that time. Third and 13. Go! Reeves, deep shot. Boone with a catch and double coverage. Very nicely done. Great job there by Kevin Boone, the longtime Cougar from Memphis, Tennessee, 31 years of age out of Louisville. Bradley on the carry. Deshaun Dinkins coming back from injury. Looks like that injury was okay. Second and 13. Reeves will pass. He will be sacked again. This Wichita defensive line it came to play today. A sack for Jones. Third down and long here. They can score, or they can, excuse me, they can get a first now without yeah. scoring a touchdown here. Third and 22 from the 23. Knocked away. Good defense. And this will be yet another field goal for Salt Lake City. This will make it 60. This is the third try today for level. This one from 40. And it is just barely good. As Whiting... It's a little banged up there, a leg injury. He'll be back, though. Here's Kayvon Green. As we reach the two-minute warning, here's 16 to nothing our score. Salt Lake City dominating Wichita thus far. Strauss, looking, has a man, it's caught, Kayvon Green. We'll see if Wichita can finally finish a drive for a change. They've already thrown two picks in this half alone. One to Damian Davies, and the most recent one to McClelland. Strauss, that's a deep shot, knocked away by Shaw, good defense. Strauss, 5 of 11, under 50% with two picks, 56 yards through the air. Hike. Second down and 10, quick throw, deep shot, Alexander with a catch. Good for 24, that gets them to within Salt Lake City territory and gives Strauss a boost of confidence here. He looks to put together a two-minute drill before halftime. Man in motion is Lopez, all the way out to the wide left. Strauss going to throw his way. It's incomplete. Looks like that may have been three Breedlove in coverage. Remember, no more Damian Mercer for the rest of the game. So Breedlove will have to take the linebacker responsibility. Second down. Looking deep here to Green, incomplete. Third down now from the 44. Sit up. Pistol formation for Strauss. So look to throw. That one almost picked. That was Faulkner who was in the area. And it'll be fourth down. It's going to be a punt here. Going to try and pin him deep as Clevenger. <laughs> Wichita does get the ball here to begin the second half. So that's a promising sign. I wouldn't be surprised. Why not just go for it? I mean, you, you basically have nothing to lose. It's it's before halftime. Be interesting to see if they would ever consider going for that. Incomplete through the triple coverage, because why not? Second down and 10. Salt Lake City pinned back inside their own 10-yard line. Reeves, looking to throw. Has a man. It's his target, Boone. Whiting coming back there from that leg injury. First and ten. Pistol again here for Reeves. Bradley in motion. Hike. Three receivers in the game. Reeves to throw. Has a man. It's McAllister. But a good defensive job there as Tristan Johnson falls victim to the injury bug. It is already the sixth injury in this half alone. And I really hope that we do not get any more, because 
It'll be uh, stacking up the uh, CVS receipt, if you will. <laughs> Second and five with just under 30 seconds to go in the opening half. Incomplete looking for McAllister. That one does connect with McAllister. Salt Lake City will call a timeout here. They have two left. Go! 18 seconds to go and count. Reeves to Meister. That's a catch. And that will be another timeout used by Salt Lake City. Joseph Meister. Celebrating after that big catch that gets him well within field goal range here, but I'm assuming they're gonna try and go for seven here before I have to really pour it on. They will try it, McAllister. And that'll probably be enough for a chip shot field goal here by Lovell. It will be. To make it 19. Go! You got it. Green returns that kick. That'll be the end of the half. 19 to nothing. Salt Lake City all over the Wranglers. If you're enjoying what you see so far, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like button as well. It definitely helps us out a lot. Motivates us to make more content like this for you all season. Be sure to join our Discord server, as that is where most of the fun happens. Great community of people over there. And uh, yeah, you can join as a team owner, a prospect, or even be part of our media team. Kendrick Nash gets the first play of this new half. Connection there with Nash out of the backfield. Calvin Cousins did the carry here, trying to go to the outside, but will be denied by Nathan Fordyce, who has really come on in the absence of Gabriel White. Remember, White was traded to Baton Rouge. And Fordyce is taken over as the leader of this defense. Fordyce, 28 years of age from Louisville, an 83 overall star dev had a massive focus goal that was hit this offseason. Second and ten. Bradley with the hurdle here, but he won't get far after that. Davian Conley, the corner for Wichita, making that stop. Bradley has been terrible, to say the least. 10 carries, only 14 yards on the ground, but he does have a touchdown. Gonna try him through the air here. And uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, um, maybe bring Reggie Armstead in for a little bit. Sturgill can, can take a seat. Bradley can definitely take a seat because he's not been good, to be honest. But uh, Reggie Armstead, by the way, 22-year-old rookie. He's the third running back on this roster. He was a fifth-round pick in this year's draft out of Southern Miss. 
Did I miss an injury there? I may have. Oopsie. Uh, I think I, th I think I, I think I may have missed an injury there. Third. Go. Seven forty-five. Uh, mark that time down. Oops, that is almost intercepted. I think that was. Is it Fordyce or Marion? I think it, no, I think it was Fordyce. Forty-six. Yeah, almost came away with that one. And uh, Christian Strauss better be careful, dude, because he's, he's playing for his job right now. He has not looked all that hot. I'm gonna go deep here, incomplete. And uh, Wichita fans, I sure, I'm sure, have already started filing out here. As Christian Strauss threw a pick last week, threw under 50%, and has now thrown multiple picks in game two, and just hasn't been looking good here for Wichita. Of course, the big news in Kansas is that. They got rid of their hometown guy, David Kreutzer, to Louisville, who isn't even starting on his new team. He's behind Jake Britton, of all quarterbacks. But hey, Wichita, by the way, does have two more quarterbacks on their roster. User-created prospect Javi Mbappe and veteran Tyler McLean, former Austin star, back up to Michael Travolta. Reeves gonna air it out deep here. This is a connection with McAllister. Those two have been a great duo all game long as McAllister hauls that one in. Reeves already over 250 yards on the day. And is looking to improve on that mark. So it looks City up by 19. Bradley gonna try and go to the end zone here, but he isn't fast enough. Lamar Draper on the stop. First and goal for the Cougars. Sturgill now in the game. Look at the toss. And he'll fight forward there. Draper once again making the stop. And it will be second down and goal. Looking to capitalize here on this drive is Salt Lake City. Handed to Bradley, he will not get in. It's Draper again. He's been everywhere today. Now Sturgill in the backfield on third down. They might pass this. We'll see. Third and goal. They will pass it. Reeves. Sturgill. Touchdown. Cougars. David Sturgill getting in via the passing game here. And, uh... Wichita fans are clearly, clearly disappointed. I can even see it on their faces. 26-0 Cougars. Kayvon Green on this return. Can Wichita do anything? I'm sure they're Coaches are all incensed. <laughs> Team owner Raider Knight probably not too happy about this. But Strauss looking under heavy pressure. We'll get it away to Lopez. Good for four. Lopez already four catches. He has been targeted seven times which is very unlike him. Kendrick Nash on that run, good for four yards. And a third and two coming up. Nash in the backfield trips to the left side. That's Alexander Lopez and Warner. And uh, that's not how you pick up a first down, Wichita. Khalid Rashid on the TFL, that one lost five. Hunt here for Clevenger. Marion gonna get hauled down by Green. Bradley on the run. 
has not found much success in the running game today, is averaging less than two yards a carry. Third of a man this time and try and fight his way for the first down marker, but he will be just short, tackled by Owa Lobby. Third and a short one here. Let's see what they call. They'll call a play with Spurgeon on the carry. Reister the lead blocker. That's well enough for the first. Go! Sturgill full steam ahead on that one. Second and one. As Bradley is back in the game now. Hand off, Bradley. Good enough for the first. As there's Reggie Armstead, finally. Finally get to see some of the third string running back in action. And we'll see if he gets the call here on this run. He will. Armstead. Oh, Ronald Jones. Getting there before he could even get back to the line. Of course, the pulling guard didn't really help all that much. Kind of gave him a free path. But, uh, it's a sad sight to see. Reeves to the end zone. Incomplete. Looks like he was trying to hit Boone there. Third down and 12. Looking to throw his Reeves. Has a man in the end zone, but it's way too far to reach for McAllister. Another field goal upcoming here for Justin Lovell. This is number five on the afternoon. This one from 37 or so. It is good. on the carry. That's Faulkner on the tackle. Strauss will be sacked on the play. Sam Hannigan. That'll end the third. Wichita still without any points at all on the scoreboard. little check down there to Nash and uh, that is that has to have the Wranglers fans livid out of their minds Go! could argue that the crowd is now 70 plus percent Salt Lake City fans Sticking around to watch their team blow the Wranglers out here as that one is knocked away. Well, if you did stick around, and if you're still here watching, we appreciate it. As we always do, always appreciate the support you guys give to the channel. A defensive penalty there results in an automatic first for the Cougars. Bradley on the carry and Tristan Johnson there, who was injured earlier in the game, came back and is now making an impact on that defensive line. Go! 
Eight and a half, rough way to go in the game. Reeves' pass caught Bradley out of the backfield. Good for four. Four receivers in this formation. Three to the left. Reeves' quick throw. Boom, nice catch. That little seam route there, especially on that outside edge, the quick throw plus that route, usually a good combination for QB and receiver. Bradley, look out. There's Sharif Wilson. Man, this Wichita defensive line, they're so quick off the snap. It's kind of absurd that they don't have any points to show offensively for the reference. Again, here comes the pressure. Reeves is pretty fast. He'll try and scramble out of it, but could not escape Owa Lobby. Third down and 13. Go! Reeves back in the pocket, has time, airs it out deep, incomplete on that. And Sharif Wilson with a leg injury. I will mark that down. <laughs> Yet another field goal. Make it six for Justin Loveful. That one nailed from 53. Two nothing our score. Kendrick Nash, uh, Khalid Rashid, just pulled some magician uh, powers, mag magical powers. That was a uh, Axis moment. Play action here. Another Axis moment. McClellan with a sack, and uh, I really wish that. Quarterbacks would drop back just a little bit farther in play action plays like that. Anyway, uh, we carry on. Deep shot. Ooh, man. If that were to be hauled in, not saying it would change the game, but it would change Wichita's confidence, that's for sure. Fourth down and 14. Clevenger to boot it deep. Marion looks to be okay after that hit from Alexander. And Salt Lake City, with just under six minutes to go, can pretty much cruise to a victory at this point. I don't think they need to run up the score at all. Bradley. Brinson on the stop. As this game ticks down to its final few minutes, we will get you... Other games that are happening today after this run by Sturgill here. Very nicely done there. Coming up right after this game will be a rivalry between Austin and Iowa, followed by our 5 p.m. game featuring Milwaukee and Albuquerque. Go! Reeves in the shotgun first down play will be caught by Boone, tackled by Thornton. Meanwhile, our Saturday coverage includes Orlando at Richmond, Virginia Beach at Memphis, great rivalry there, Columbus at San Antonio, a fantastic rivalry there, Oklahoma City at Sacramento. Reeves now going to air it out to Meister incomplete, but I like the idea. Our Sunday coverage, by the way, to round that out, includes Baton Rouge, Delaware, Vancouver, Louisville, Tucson, Omaha, and St. Louis, Portland. Third and seven, connection, McAllister down to the two. Or the one, actually. Whatever. Inside the two. By the way, folks, the action is not over Go. at 545. We will have GFL action for you tonight, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern. Four games, eight teams. 
Tons of high-flying minor league action. A chance for young free agents to showcase their skills. Second and Did goal. I for Reeves and company, he will throw it away very smartly. Third and goal. Lovell. With Meister lined up, the body sends him in motion. End zone. Incomplete. And that might send out Lovell again. But interesting, this time it's from the left hash. Being a righty kicker, you never know. Lovell. He got it from 25, and that is now seven field goals for Justin Lovell. Strauss incomplete. Man, he has just not had it today with any of his receivers. I mean, if I'm saying his best connection is Alex Lopez, that's really saying something. <laughs> incomplete. And, uh, yeah. Did you have Eugene Alexander wide open? Maybe. Did you want to throw to him? Of course not. Third and ten. Strauss into double coverage. Jaleel Marion was inches away from hauling that one in, and why not go for it, Wichita? Yeah, there we go. Christian Strauss, 9 of 24 for 96 yards. That's a drop. <laughs> and, um... Bradley on the run, shakes off the hit, Jason Whiting on the tackle. Go! Sturgill fighting his way forward, I think he has enough, he does not have enough, I stand corrected. If they do convert, I believe this means Reggie Armstead will come into the game. Which is nice. Bradley. Maybe they don't need him. Touchdown. <laughs> well, now he comes in, of course. Oh, this is... This is getting real bad. Levels kick. It's good. Okay. Um... Yeah. Wow. Take the seven field goals away and... Seems much less of a blowout, but my gosh. I mean, both teams really struggling to capitalize on the drives that are given. I mean, if, if you have seven field goals in a game, that's seven opportunities where you could have scored more points if you add, you know... 20, if you had the difference, if you had 28 more points, I mean, talking like, what is that, 70 points? Yeah. 10, 10 scoring drives, 3 TDs, and 7 field goals. Yeah, eight, eight, uh, 70 points. Yeah. Hike. But, uh, sadly, no. Here's a connection. Oh, Marion laying the boom on that one. Not like you need to. You're up 42 to nothing. My gosh, man. Second catch for Alexander. Pass here. That's another catch. Where was this in the first half, Christian Strauss? Last time out burned here by the Wranglers. 137 to go. Clock is stopped. Go! First and 10 for Strauss. Passes caught. Catch for Bobby Warner. And Marion just showing no mercy there. Could have been flagged for a late hit if they had those in the game. They don't, unfortunately. Wish they did. But 
Jaleel Marion is just showing absolutely no regard for the clock. Hey, there it is. Touchdown, and there goes the goose egg, Kayvon Green. And no, I didn't jinx it because I never said shutout, but there goes the shutout. Onside kick here by Ruppert is unsuccessful, we all know. Thank you very much, Axis. Marion on the recovery, and Marion gets hurt while recovering his, his kick. Okay. Sure, game. That makes sense. <laughs> Trevon Reeves on the kneel down, and that will pretty much do it here. Final score. Salt Lake City 42, Wichita 7. And we will get you out to the start of that Austin-Iowa game, which should kick off in about 10 minutes from now. As one more kneel down should do it. And Salt Lake City will get in the win column here. They will move to 1-1. One one. Wichita moving to 0-2. Oh Trevon Reeves, 316 yards through the air. Khalid Rashid, three tackles for loss. Strauss, yeah, yikes. He's averaging six yards for attempt. That is not good. Multiple interceptions. That is also not good. And he's under... 50% completion. He has regressed in every single possible way you can. <laughs> oh my gosh. Reeves, 51%, so he just barely avoided regression. Danzel Bradley actually is going to be regressed because he only averaged 2.9 yards a carry, but he did have two TDs. Interesting. McAllister, my gosh, 7 for 151. Boone, 5 for 104. Chris Ryan had two catches today, very nice. And defensively, of course, Rashid also got to talk about McClelland and Davies there with the two picks. Marion, seven punt returns, my gosh. He also did have a kick return, of course. Justin Lovell, the main story today, is game seven field goals for him. Take a look at Christian Strauss's 49 passer rating. Big yikes. Oh, and I thought Denzel Bradley did horrible. Ooh, Kendrick Nash. Oh, gosh. 13 for 22. Oh, my gosh. Uh, love to see the rushing totals per team after this game. Oh, a lobby. Very nice, very nice. Ronald Jones, another sack. He is going to be fun to watch. I would think. Gave on great 11 for 203. Nice. Ruppert, only one extra point. And Clevenger with eight punts. Crazy. Oh, rushing yards. Oh, 94 to. Tw or ni sorry, 92 to 24. Oh, Salt Lake City with s 30 more plays, basically. Oh my gosh and 200 more total yards. Despite Wichita having three sacks. It's interesting. All right, interesting game. But uh, we'll see you next time. Again, Austin, Iowa coming up next. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and join our Discord server for all of the fun and the action. And be sure, speaking of action, to check out the GFL. Premiering once again tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Big thank you to all of our media team members for churning out the content for us. Big thank you to you guys, our community, and our fans for supporting us. And we will see you next time. Take care, folks.